Hello everybody, I'm Women International Master Rucha Pujari and right now I'm on chess.com and today we are going to play some puzzle battles. So generally when I play puzzle battles I have two moves. First is to play for winning. So when opponent makes errors I instantly clean win and earn those victories and rating points. And my second mode is to play for the score. So even if the game is already won, I just like to keep playing and uh, try to make a high score for myself. So today we are going for the second option. Try to play, keep on playing and make good scores. So we are not just going to play today, but I will also share with you some of the valuable tips that you can use to become a better puzzle battle player. Now I have already won some tournaments on chess.com in this and these tips will really help you to become better. So right now I am joining in from computer. It's up to you. You have a choice. You can join in from computer or also play from mobile. Even though there is uh, still not application of puzzle battle on there. Um, I'm sorry, even if they don't have the feature of this on their application yet, you can always play from the browser. So before we begin, if you want to uh, make a serious good score, I suggest that first thing that you need is an external mouse if you're joining from computer, because of course you need that to play fast. A second thing I want to tell you about is some settings which are like pro tips that you can change which will change the outcome in the end. So the first thing uh, about settings is that uh, you can go in control panel and choose the speed of your mouse or your cursor. Now not everybody does this but it really helps so you can choose it whatever you want. Generally, I don't choose the fastest because it is too fast to play uh, the mouse moves too fast, but I try to see which is optimal for me and increase a little bit than the normal. Then the next thing is in chess.com settings. So you have to do this if you need to get good scores. So go in your settings, select board and pieces. And here you can see the settings about animation type. This is um, this means that it what speed do you want the pieces to move? So the normal way is a little bit slow if you want to um, get good score. So either choose it to fastest or you can choose it to none just like me. And also important is this last one, show legal moves. It means that when you press any piece on the chessboard, it will automatically show you the legal possible moves for that piece. So definitely change the settings. So change control panel settings about your cursor, then change this animation type, and then show legal moves, set it to enable. Now we will go to the puzzle battle page. All right. And of course, I will share with you some more tips as we start playing. Okay, let's play now. So right now I'm choosing random. But if you want to play with somebody that you know, or if you want to play with your friends, you can uh, insert the username there and then send challenge to that person. Okay. So.
It's too difficult to talk in between. Check. Take the queen. Need to mate here. Queen. Um, is it this check? Oh no. I hate when I get even one wrong. Something. Shall we take the queen? Okay. F4. Yes. We drop the piece. Rook F2. The base or rook h1? Base. Match 3? No, no, no. Queen e3. Now, um, in e1? Yes. hg? Or queen g6? Queen g6 and we. No, okay. Check. e3. And now e2. Six, rook c two. Okay. All right. That was a smooth victory with thirty four square a uh, thirty four score. New battle. Yes, and also one of the important tips that I have to tell you is that see the size of the board that you're playing. So when I am playing this puzzle battles, I make the board size smaller so that it is easier to move the pieces. So make it smaller because if you have a large board, it is difficult to play the moves and it will uh, waste some time when you're moving the mouse from, let's say, a1 to a8 or all the way on the board so make it smaller and uh, just as much that you can think on that board and also it is optimal for you to play these settings these technical things can have a big impact in the end Let's find an opponent. All right. We have a tough opponent here. A very close match. Come on, come on. Check, check. Take the knight, take it. Take and queen b2. Takes in ninety three, ninety four. Um, rook d one. I think so. Yes. Traps the queen. Take it. I almost made a mistake. 
I hate to even make one mistake. Um. Is it nine G six? Okay, that was a good victory. Yes. Wants to rematch? Okay. Why not? We like to play with tough opponents. It's started. Mom. Check. We have King D seven takes. G2 and Bishop H3. Yes. Hmm, it's black to play. Bishop B4 now. Let's see, 3. Yes. Okay, we have already one now. So that's a nice feeling. Okay, let's play some new opponent now, new battle.
Oh, again, we have the same opponent. Even when I choose the random, it gave me the same opponent. Is this okay? Oh, Queen C eight. Check. G4, yes. Might C6, now shall we give check? Okay. Mm. Mm. What to do? Rook D8. Oh, now this has become tough. Tough situation. Oh. I want a new opponent. Let's wait a few seconds and then we can choose new game. This is so much fun, as you see. The rules of these are quite simple. Uh, we just get new positions and we have to keep playing. And when we have three errors, then the game is over. And if the score is tied, let's say we have the same uh, number here, then it, uh, it's, it matters how many errors we have. So if we have more errors, then that player loses. This is so much fun. I enjoy playing this so much. Okay, I hope now I can press new battle and uh, let's hope for a new opponent. Okay, another strong opponent we have. No errors. I hate errors. Even if one. It makes me feel so bad. Queen at six, what are you doing? 
I can't think about anything except rook c2 or b5. I missed it. opponent's last move. That's why we have to be very um, attentive to what was the last move that was played. Because many times it, it can be a big hint. Bishop f5. D4 and take this knight. Mm. Back and take the piece. Rook 8, 7, check. Check, check. Come on. Let's hope to make it come back. It was endless. Oh no, oh, in g5 and this position was over. <laughs> and I could have won. Okay, new game. Let's play some more. Wait, let's go. Okay. I hope this will be an easy game after meeting so many strong opponents. But in this puzzle battles, it's not always about our opponents, it's also about how we are doing. Queen H3 first. Knight in one, is it? So difficult to find moves in which we, you have to bring back your pieces. Queen E8, now C2 with the check. And also, 
We get this bishop, but it's not right because there is mate on d1. And now, h2, and g3. Is it rook b7? This was not easy. I need to find a mate somewhere. This. Oh, come on. This is fun. Butterfly Queen. Yes, that's how what we should do. We need to play very fast, make fast mouse moves. So what I do is I first think in my mind and instantly I do play these quick moves. Quick reaction. That's what we need in this. F2 and Queen F2. Which one? Queen F2. E1 or King D1? Check this book. No, King G6 or... Is there anything? Bishop e6. Um, d7. Um, okay, four. Oh my gosh. Night a1. <laughs> okay, let's play. Few more. So generally, this 
positions have only one solution. So this is a hint for you to find the only move in the position. And I will give you a tip that always pay attention to the last move that was played on the board because many times that gives away the solution. So look for it. And um, what I do is that when I see the board, I instantly take the mouse and click on the first piece, which I think can be the move with intuition. And then I start thinking. And when I see that that is the move I play, so that saves me some time. So my current rating is around 2500. I remember that I have been around 2700, but then I did not play for a long time puzzle battles. And this does require some practice. So you need to be in form to be able to play fast. So that's the important thing that's how you react you need good reaction and for that you need to be fresh keep your next move always ready so think what your opponent will do and now here i know that it will play g3 so next instantly i think about next moves I just did not see anything there. So instead of wasting time forever, I just gave a pass. Now Queen H5 and Rook. Okay, let's play a new one. And probably the last one, I want to stop uh, with the victory. So next victory and let us stop this video. This certainly can be very addictive to play. Oh, <laughs> again, this player, how many times we are going to play this player? It's like we start with him and we finish with him. Oh, first rook b8. That was my first move. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. New battle. Come on, I want a victory. Is it rook f5? Okay, that's... Oh, mouse slip. Okay, so with that, uh, let us stop here for today and uh, keep playing chess, keep enjoying and have a good time with puzzle battles and with everything and do follow the tips that I mentioned in this and let me know how you are doing with this um, amazing and very exciting challenges. So see you next time. Bye.